Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting rational equation question. It is x plus x square minus 1 times square root x square minus 4 over x square minus 2 equal to 2 over x square minus 3. x belong to real number. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. Denominator cannot be 0. Straight away we will write x square cannot be equal to 3. That means x cannot be equal to plus minus root 3. This is first point and second point from this radicand term it will come out. So I will write x square minus 4. This must be positive. Or x plus 2 times x minus 2. This product should be positive. So we can conclude x should be less than or equal to minus 2 or x should be greater than or equal to 2. Means our solution should not lie in between minus 2 and 2. One thing is confirmed. Now let's solve this equation. As x square is not equal to 3, we can multiply this term to both sides. So I will write or better is to write over there, multiply both sides with x square minus 3. Now I will write directly x times x square minus 3. Now denominator will be over plus x square minus 1 times square root x square minus 4 equal to 2. Now I will expand it. So let's expand. I will write x cube minus 3x and if I will take this 2 to the left hand side then it will become minus 2 plus x square minus 1 times root x square minus 4 equal to 0. Now I will consider this cubic equation or better is to say cubic expression this expression separately. I will solve this expression. Let me write here x cube minus 3x minus 2. I can split minus 3x as minus x minus 2x minus 2. Now I will take x common from the first two term. So it will be x square minus 1 in the bracket minus 2 common from the last two. I will write x plus 1. Again difference of square formula is applicable. So x plus 1 times x minus 1 then minus 2 times x plus 1. Now take x plus 1 overall common. So I will take x plus 1 overall common. It would be left in the bracket x times x minus 1. So x square minus x minus 2. So I will replace this x cube minus 3x minus 2 expression with this term okay and see x square minus x minus 2 further we can write x plus 1 and x minus 2 so overall conclusion if you will check only then it is x plus 1 whole square times x minus 2 so we can replace this cubic expression by this factorization Let's replace it. So I will write here now x plus 1 whole square times x minus 2 and then followed by x square minus 1 square root x square minus 4 equal to 0. So let me write here x plus 1 whole square times x minus 2 plus x square minus 1 square root x square minus 4 equal to 0. Now I will split. See x plus 1 whole square can be written as x plus 1 times x plus 1. x square minus 1 can be written as x plus 1 x minus 1. So let me write in that manner. I will write x plus 1 whole square. Is x minus 2 I will split in two square roots. Square root x minus 2 square root x minus 2. Okay, now come to this part, difference of two squares. I will write x minus 1 times x plus 1. 
a square minus b square a plus b a minus b again i will write this x square minus 4 as x plus 2 square root x minus 2 and right hand side is 0 now check whatever is common we will take that term out so x plus 1 x plus 1 i will consider common okay let me write here anything else yes square root x minus 2 so i will write square root x minus 2 is also common what would be left in the bracket i will be having x plus 1 square root x minus 2 done from second term we can consider here x minus 1 in bracket square root x plus 2 bracket close equal to 0 now you can see a dot b dot c equal to 0 that means either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 or c equal to 0 so let me frame three equations x plus 1 equal to 0 conclusion x should be equal to minus 1 solution is rejected why it is rejected because our domain was either x should be greater than 2 or less than minus 2 so it is in between minus 2 and 2 so this will be rejected from second part this is done now this part so second equation it would be square root x minus 2 equal to 0 considering squaring both sides x minus 2 equal to 0 conclusion is x equal to 2 so far this is accepted solution we will check little later equation number 3 this bracket this bracket will be 0 so let us write one time x plus 1 times square root x minus 2 plus x minus 1 times square root x plus 2 equal to 0. So we have to solve this third equation whether there is any solution or not. Let's solve this equation x plus 1 times square root x minus 2. Let me write here x plus 1 times square root x minus 2 plus x minus 1 times square root x plus 2 equal to 0. I will take this term one term to the other side. So I will be writing x plus 1 times square root x minus 2 equal to minus x minus 1 times square root x plus 2. Consider squaring both sides. So once I will consider whole square both sides, it will be x plus 1 whole square times x minus 2 equal to x minus 1 whole square minus square is plus x plus 2. Now I will shuffle the terms or you can expand directly. Both options are available for us. So let me let me not open both sides. Let me consider this way x times x plus 1 whole square minus 2 times x plus 1 whole square expanded only and then x times x minus 1 whole square plus 2 times x minus 1 whole square. Now I will take this term, this term to the right and this term to the left. So what I will write after that, I will write x common in bracket it will be x plus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 whole square and right hand side 2 common x minus 1 whole square plus x plus 1 whole square now check what is left so here x square plus 1 plus 2x minus x square plus 1 minus 2x so minus times minus plus so here we will be having 4x inside the bracket right hand side 2 times once you will expand it plus 2x and minus 2x will be cancelled out so what would be left 2x square plus 2 so we are having 4x square is equal to 4x square plus 4 
now 4x square and 4x square will be over so 0 is equal to 4 is this true no it is not true it is not true for real solutions so we will write no real solution so from third equation we won't get any solution which is real complex solution is possible but there is no real solution so ultimate solution is only one that is x is equal to 2 so let us check here verification for x is equal to 2 let's check LHS would be 2 plus here we will write 2 square so it will be 2 square is 4 let me write here 4 minus 1 is square root 4 minus 4 divided by 4 minus 3 so because of this 4 minus 4 this will be 0 so LHS will be equal to 2 now come to RHS 2 over 2 square minus 3 2 over 4 minus 3 it is equal to 2 because of both sides are same that means this is true solution so ultimate solution in this problem is only one that is x is equal to 2 so let me write here x is equal to 2 is the only solution for the given rational equation problem. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.